Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to kind of gather my thoughts a little bit about the Nintendo Direct that we had on Wednesday. Thanks to everyone who stopped by for that stream. In this video, I'm going to go over my favorite games from this last Nintendo Direct and tell you what I thought. Here on Nintendo Life, they have a list of everything that came out or was announced on the Direct on Wednesday. The first one was Pikmin. So my thoughts on Pikmin, I never, like, I was never a huge Pikmin fan. I played on one of the earlier systems just for, like, a little bit. And I remember, I think I had, like, I feel like I had, like, a cousin or something that, like, really loved Pikmin. So I don't know, like, I don't know. This one's cute. And if you guys watched the live stream, you remember that I was pretty excited about it. Just because it looked, like, grounded. <laughs> So yeah, I'm not sure. I was a little eh, I was a little eh on that one. But they are cute and it is probably one of the cozier games that they announced. So that one's definitely, you know, I think that it, it'll be on my list. I think I will play it. It didn't spark total joy for me. And then we go back to the list. Fashion Dreamer was probably like, <laughs> this is so weird, but this is one of the ones I was most excited about. Just because it is totally totally different from everything that was released. I keep saying released, but I mean announced. Everything that was announced on the Nintendo Direct. So yeah, and it's 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 so different. Like, and honestly, this is something I would have loved as a kid. I didn't grow up with a Nintendo handheld, and I think that that's why the Nintendo Directs are not always exciting for me, because if I had grown up with them, I probably would have played some of these other games, like Xenoblade, or I, I I don't know what I I didn't have a Nintendo system growing up. I only had the GameCube and I had like five games for it. Um, and they were all adventure games like Zelda, Mario, or um Animal Crossing. That's not an adventure, but I also had the Sims on there. So I yeah, I just I don't think that I'm the target audience for all of those other ones. But Fashion Dreamer, I will play that one. Then we jump over to Bayonetta. So Bayonetta absolutely was cool looking, but I've never played any of the Bayonetta games. Never played any of the Bayonetta games. In fact, I know that I've seen clips of it on, clips of the other games on like highlight reel. And I definitely did make some jokes about how goofy it looked because it's just chaotic. I don't know what's happening. I know she calls herself a witch, but um, she does not, to me, that's not what I think of when I think of a witch. But anyways, anywho, definitely not my style. But this right here is really cute. The art style is amazing. Let's go back into uh, the list. So it was that three? I think those three games. So Harmony was the one that was made by Don't Nod and Don't Nod helped develop one of the Life is Strange games. I think it's the, I think it's the first Life is Strange. I think that Deck Nine made the Before the Storm. I think I confused that when I was live streaming, but regardless, I don't know about this one. It looks really cool. Um, I might pick it up, but if it's, too super serious? I'm not sure. It just depends. I'll need to see someone else play it, I think, before I decide whether or not I want to spend that much money on it because we know Nintendo charges full price for most of their games. They're crazy. Octopath Traveler. I'm going to try to play the demo on that one. I'll pull that one back up just because look at it. Okay, I don't like turn-based games. That's another reason why I'm not the target audience for these Nintendo Directs. I don't like turn-based combat. I think that it is too hard for me to pay attention to it. But I really love the art style and that will pull me into a game for sure. So that's a maybe. Kirby's Return to Dreamland. I thought that that one was pretty, but I've never have never played a Kirby game. I know that this is crazy. Don't hate me in the comments. Like I said, I did not grow up with a lot of Nintendo consoles. So this is, it's, it's, it's odd to me. It's foreign to me. So I'm not sure. Metroid Prime Remastered. I already made a promise that I will play this game so and also Shane did second that he said that I should try to play this game and he thinks that I would really like it and he said it is also a masterpiece as far as a game goes so I will be playing that so that was a cool one but 
the reason why it was a winner for me was because that there was a first person aspect to it and also it does seem like you can kind of like explore and also it seemed like an adventure game. I do like adventure slash immersive games so that was a good one. Fantasy Life The Girl Who Steals Time. If you watched the stream you know that I was pretty interested in this one because it is basically to me it looks like Animal Crossing crossed with Monster Hunter. But the only thing is, guess what? I don't know anything about the rest of the Fantasy Life games. I know that there were some. I think that they were on like the DS or the 3DS or something like that. Don't know anything about them. So I'm coming in late on this one. And then obviously, yes, Tears of the Kingdom. I will be playing it. Absolutely. So, excuse me, I hiccuped. Let's pull this up. So I don't know. I guess if I had to grade that Nintendo Direct out of five stars, I would probably give it like a three, which is just kind of middle of the road. There were some things I was excited about. A five would have been, you know, maybe one of the first Nintendo Directs that ever came out, like talking about Animal Crossing and Breath of the Wild and Mario Odyssey and, you know, the Super Mario collection that came out that had Super Mario Sunshine and Galaxy on it. Like, those earlier Nintendo Directs were just, they were just so good, so exciting, so promising, and and everything was just so new. It was so great. You know, after a couple of days have gone by, are you still excited about what we heard in the direct? Are there some games that you just absolutely can't wait to get your hands on? You can also leave your own rating in the comments as well. Also, please don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't. I'm really currently trying to boost my subscriber count and get this channel going. So without further ado, thank you guys for watching and stay cozy, my friends.